right guys, we're back with Chris. Day two on the snow. How's it feeling, man, today? You ready for some more? Feeling good, yeah. Snow's a bit different than the last time we were up here, but uh, should cushion any of my falls. Yeah, definitely. What's uh, what's the goal for today, Chris? The, uh, the transition from uh, toe to heel and vice versa. Get some turns down. All turning, no falling. So we're back up today with Chris, and yeah, we're doing some refresher, just like walking around again. But the goal for today is to get Chris's turns down. We've got like a really mellow bunny slope here, and just gonna get Chris like comfortable with the balance, sliding on his heels, sliding on his toes, and then start to link those together. And once you start to like link turns together from heels to toes, that's when you're basically, you're turning and snowboarding. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to work. Yeah, so Chris, for that turn, it's like if you lean a bit more on your front foot and reach towards the snow, then that'll help the turn come around really smooth. And don't try to do it too quickly because that's when you can get twisted. So let it come just like nice and naturally around. If you guys are going for your first turns, I think those two things really help. Leaning forward, reaching your hands towards the snow, and also just letting the turn come around a little bit more like smoothly by doing it bigger. If you try to do really quick turns, that's when you can kind of get twisted, lose your balance. Try to make the turn a little bit bigger, and if you practice your turn someplace where it's mellow, then it gives you more confidence to actually just point your board down the hill. Ready for some more, man? Let's make it happen. Yeah, Chris, how's your, like, just the balance overall feeling on the heels and toes? Good for the most part, yeah, balance is coming along. Do you think that just naturally, like, overnight, the balance has improved? Well, the day off we took was good, obviously, for the muscle groups I'm not used to working. But yeah, definitely improvement for sure since the last time. And you look, like, way more comfortable on your toes. Like, how's the toe edge feeling? Feeling a little more confident with it now, uh, for sure. It's still not something I'm used to, but I think, uh, for me, it's, it's more so taking it slower. I usually like to go fast, so. Yeah. Uh, I have to get it stuck in my head that I need to slow down and take it easy and do everything in segments for a couple of reasons, but uh, most importantly so I don't like injure myself or get going too fast and then go into the trees or something. Yeah, one step at a time. Yeah, I think the most important thing when you're learning is that you actually spread your progression out over a few days. Then, like when you have time off, you can give your muscles like a break. And I think you actually like learn too with some time off. Your brain just starts thinking about going over the steps in your head, how to balance. And so then when you come back to it with fresh legs and like a fresh perspective, then you can just like progress even further than if you try to do everything in one day. So I think uh, Chris is on like pace the first day, just getting all those basics down. And now like I can see that his balance on his heels and toes is improved. And I think the turns are just gonna happen so much easier. So this next run, I think we're gonna try to get Chris to do some turns solo. And from there, he's basically snowboarding. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but first you gotta get off the chair again. Uh-oh. A snowboarder's worst nemesis. So 
So I think Chris is really getting the hang of it. We were just like kind of going through like how the turns feel and, and sort of the timing in between. And there's a spot up here where like the pitch is perfect for Chris just to start really linking those turns together, like going solo. So Chris, how do you have it in your head for linking those turns? So when I'm starting my turn, I go straight for like a second and a half. The motion is fluid and then I make the turn and go over to the other side, straight for a second and a half, make the turn and it's all like one fluid motion slows down a little bit when I'm going straight. Nice, you're starting to like feel the rhythm of the turns. Yeah, sounds like a song. <laughs> so guys, this is the pitch right here where I think it's the perfect place for Chris to link a few turns together. Dude, once you link turns, you're a snowboarder. Done and done. So Chris has got his turns down, he's linking them, it's all coming together, got the balance. Um, to help him just progress even further, I'm just gonna get him to follow me. And then I can sort of like show him the size of the turns and like where to make those turns and just give him like an extra like boost just to continue linking those turns together. Yeah man, how does it feel? Feeling good, let's do this. Take me to the double blacks. <laughs> Dude, you wanna go heli skiing? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm ready for some heli skiing. I think you're such a good teacher that uh, I'm ready for some heli skiing. All right, man. Chris, you're a snowboarder now. Day one, day two, done. Day two, done. Got those turns going. So Chris crushed it today. I gave him a hand through those first few turns. Once I could see that he had his balance, like just let him go solo. And he must have done like most of that last run, like turning down, linking the whole way. That's a good pace to learn at. Chris, what do you think, man? Are you gonna like stick with snowboarding? Keep it going a few more times? Yeah, I think uh, the key is gonna be to at least practice every so often for the next while, otherwise I'll forget it all. So maybe one more time on this trip? Oh yeah, for sure one more time on this trip. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Gotta, gotta get that third day up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Who, who knows when I'll be back in Whistler anyway, so I gotta maximize. What happened on that last run? Like, what do you think it was that clicked so that you could just turn the rest of the way down? Ah, uh, well watching you in front of me do the same thing helped for sure. And like space, we spaced it out over two days, so it wasn't trying to do everything at once. Yeah, definitely. Throw in a couple ski days too, yeah. <laughs> Overall, a good leg workout. What ski days? I'm cutting that out. <laughs> but yeah, guys, Chris did an amazing job. It was super fun for me, like teaching my friend to snowboard. So that was an awesome experience. If you guys are learning, I hope this video helped. And if you're teaching a friend too, like um, I highly recommend it because you get new people into snowboarding and it's super enjoyable. So if you guys have any questions for Chris or myself, leave them for us down in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. And in the next video, I'll take Chris maybe to the top of the mountain. Top of the mountain. Yeah, let's go. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks, Chris, for being a good snowboarder, man. And we'll see you guys in the next one soon.